All right, we are ready to get started with our kickboxing class this morning. If you're joining us on YouTube, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and make sure you ring the little bell because that'll let you know whenever we put up a new video. We're gonna start this morning with our regular warm up. So feet about hip width apart. Make sure you have enough room to move freely around you, but otherwise you don't need any equipment. We're gonna start with just some nice gentle arm swings, loosening up our back, checking in, seeing how everything's doing today. Beautiful, if that feels okay, go ahead and start lifting your heel, turning further. Maybe going a little faster, letting your arms swing out a little higher. And then we'll do two more to each side. Bring everything back in. From here, we're gonna move into our arm circles. So nice, big circles and sitting up your shoulders. And then go the other way. And then throw those arms in and out across your chest, one arm on top and then the other. All right, you should be nice and loosened up there. From here, we're gonna move into our hips. So bring those feet out just a little further, nice big hip circles in one direction. And then go the other way. And then we're gonna bring it in just a little bit back to hip width, maybe shoulder, depending on what's comfortable for you. We're gonna start some little mini side lunges. If those are feeling okay, knees and hips are doing good, you can step out a little further. If that doesn't feel okay, keep it narrow and make sure that you're extra careful. Give yourself plenty of room to adapt as needed for all your moves today. If everything's still feeling good, go ahead and step out nice and wide as far as is comfortable for you do some deeper side lunges. Practice that guard stance while we're doing our side lunges. Hands up around your chin, elbows tucked in nice and tight, shoulders relaxed. Two more to each side. And then we're gonna step all the way in from here, back to that hip to shoulder width apart, arms out, windmills. You're gonna reach opposite hand to opposite foot. Start out with a nice bend in your knees. But if it feels okay, go ahead and try to straighten your legs a little. Don't have to straighten them all the way, but get a good stretch through the back of your legs. And again, make note of anything that's tight in case you need to adapt any moves today to take care of yourself. One more on each side. And then bring everything back in. We're gonna finish off with some high knees. So from here, you're gonna start with medium knees, bringing them up to wherever starts out being comfortable. And then you're gonna ease them up just a little higher each time, a little bit higher until you're bringing them up as high as you can in your range of motion with no pain. Might feel some stretching, might feel some work, but no pain. Eventually the goal is to be able to bring them all the way up, knee to shoulder, but that tends to take a lot of practice. Two more on each side. Beautiful, and then bring everything back to stillness. Take a second, check in, make sure everything feels good and ready. If you need to do any additional stretches, go ahead and do those before we get started. If you're ready to go, we're gonna start with our left leg in front. We're gonna start off with a jab, cross, hook, uppercut, and then we're gonna do a rear leg front kick. Now this one is a push front kick. So you're gonna bring your foot up and push out. So it's jab, cross, hook, upper, push front kick with the back leg. We've got two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, upper, 
push front kick. Beautiful, you got it. Take the first few a little slow, make sure you've got the pattern down. Once you've got it, you can pick up the pace. Keep breathing the whole time. Beautiful, looking good. That push front kick, that's different than the snap. Now the snap comes straight up and you're hitting with the top of your foot. The push, you're hitting with the bottom of your foot. So pushing out like you're kicking somebody right in the stomach. Some people call it a stomp kick. Nice, looking good. Beautiful, hold it up like you're showing me the bottom of your foot. There you go, perfect. Almost there. Looking good, you can do it. Five more seconds. And time, nice. Go ahead and march it out, take a deep breath. And then we're gonna stay with that front leg, that left leg in front. And we're gonna stick with the same hand combo. So we're still gonna do our cross, jab, hook, upper. But this time after the upper, we're gonna turn back this way and use our front leg to do a side kick. So same hand combo. And then after the uppercut, turn, leg comes up, kick straight out, and you're hitting with your heel. Of course, you're just kicking in the air, so you're not hitting anything. But imagine that your heel is what's driving forward. It'll help keep your hip and knee safe. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Nice. Now that kick can go whatever height you want it to. If you have a little less range of motion in your hip moving on that lateral motion, that's okay. Aim for the ankle or the knee. That still is going to engage those same muscles. So knee height is fine. Super low, that can still be a devastating kick to the ankle. You can go rib height. Or if you have really good flexibility, aim at head height. Whatever works for you. Nice, looking good. You're halfway there. Keep it up, you got this. Beautiful. Now, if you're just doing this for fitness to get moving and cause it's fun, you can let your hands rest wherever you want. But if you're working on your kickboxing form, make sure those hands come back to your face after each strike, always stay on guard and keep them up while you're doing your kick as well. Almost there. All right, time for that burst of speed. Fast as you can, go, go, go. One more. And time. March it out, take that nice deep breath. And then we're still gonna stay one more round 
on our left leg. So put that left leg back in front. Same hand combination, jab, cross, hook, upper. But this time after that upper, using the rear leg again, you're gonna turn and do a roundhouse kick. So jab, cross, hook, upper, turn that front foot, roundhouse kick with the rear leg. Perfect, you got it. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. You got it, don't give up. And you know what, if you mix it up, if you throw the wrong combo, no worries, all movement is good movement. So just keep moving. Same thing on this roundhouse kick as with the side kick and the front kick for that matter. If you wanna do a low roundhouse, if your hip doesn't like that upward angle, that's fine. Do that nice low roundhouse, ankle height, knee height, rib height, or if you have the flexibility, head height. Totally up to you. I prefer rib height for most of my kicks, but it's fun to mix it up sometimes too. And knee height is a great self-defense technique. Thirty more seconds. All right, time for that burst of speed, fast as you can. Especially on the hands. Don't rush the kick. Be safe, but get those hands moving. One more like that. And then slow it back down. And time. Beautiful. March it out. From here, we're going to do one minute of ab work. We're going to work on bicycle crunches. So we're going to do hands on our head, left knee coming up, and we're going to stay on the left knee the whole time for one minute. Try to bring your elbow to your knee or as close as you can get. Here we go. Focus on the squeeze in your belly on this one. It doesn't have to go super fast. People tend to forget with high intensity interval training that it's intervals. So you have to give yourself time to slow back down or you're not training effectively. So take this time, slow it down a little bit. Focus on the squeeze here, maybe here. Let your heart rate slow down. Let your breathing even out. Beautiful. Almost there. And time. Shake those legs out. Grab some water. That's one set down, two to go. All right, bring it back in. From here, we're gonna switch sides, putting that right leg in front. And we're gonna go through the same combos. So this time we're gonna do the jab, cross, hook, upper, all on the other sides. And then finishing off with that rear leg front push kick. Jab, cross, hook, upper, rear leg push kick. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Even though you just did this one, take a second. It can feel different on the other side. So make sure everything's comfortable and you've got it down and that you can do the move safely. 
And then once you have it, you can go ahead and pick up the pace. Keep going. Don't mind me, technical difficulties. You guys keep going. Perfect, this is the one where you're pushing with the bottom of the foot. More than halfway there, you got this. Thirty more seconds. All right, time for that burst of speed. Move those hands fast as you can. A push kick is not as fast as a snap kick. That's okay. You can still move those hands super fast. And time, march it out, take a deep breath, and then put that right leg back in front. Jab, cross, hook, upper. This time, turning, front leg, side kick. Now, it may feel different on this side, especially for the kick. Your hips are not always the same on both sides. So remember, low, medium, ribs, or head, whatever works for you is fine. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. This one is actually a super versatile kick if you're doing any sparring because you can even hit right on that hip hinge there to push somebody back and keep them from coming in on you. Just in case you were considering kickboxing sparring. Almost there. All right, time for that high intensity interval. Move those hands fast as you can. Two more like that. One more and then back to regular speed. And time. Whew. I've gotten so sweaty, my earpiece keeps falling off. Hopefully you're getting a good workout too. Take a second, march it out, take some deep breaths. And then we're gonna stay one more with that right leg in front. Our same jab, cross, hook, upper, turn the front foot, rear leg roundhouse. Pick the height that works for you or mix it up. You're still working that posterior chain on that roundhouse kick wherever you do it. 
Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Turn the front foot, protect your knee. Nice, strong roundhouse. As always, do it a couple times. Make sure you've got it and be safe. I know some people talk about no pain, no gain. I don't subscribe to that philosophy. I say no pain is good, let's keep it that way. So if anything hurts, slow down, find a way around it, adapt, or sit this one out if you need to. It's all good. Halfway there already. You got this, looking good. 30 more seconds. Time for that burst of speed. Move those hands. But be safe on the kick. And if you mess up a combo, of course, as always, don't worry about it, just keep moving. And time. Nice job. March it out, take some deep breaths. And then we're gonna do that one minute of bicycles on the other side. So hands back on your head, this time right knee coming up. We've got one minute on the clock. Here we go. Again, taking this time to focus on slowing down a little. Make sure you're breathing evenly. Check your exertion level. You should be able to say a short sentence without too much difficulty. If you can't do that, probably pushing it a little too hard, might need to dial it back. Almost there, 10 seconds to go. Squeeze in on that crunch. And time. Nice, shake that leg out. Grab some water, two sets down, one to go. All right, bring it back in. From here, we're gonna go back to our, actually, we're gonna start in an even stance. We're gonna do a bob and weave. So we're gonna go from our even stance here, one way, imagine there's a hook coming towards you. So that hook punch coming right here, you're gonna duck under it and come up with a nice strong elbow knee. Come back to center, go the other way. Elbow, knee. That's it, that's all we're doing, going side to side. Two minutes, here we go. Elbow, knee. Back to center. Other way, elbow, knee. Beautiful, you got it. Now, if you've never done martial arts and you're wondering why I put my hand out, there's two reasons. One, it's more satisfying and it helps me stop in the right spot. Two, in a self-defense situation, I would grab and then elbow. Same thing for the knee. I would grab 
and pull in. So if you wanna add that element, that's a good way to do it. If not, you can leave that off and just do the elbow and the knee that way and make it more fitness oriented. Totally up to you and what you prefer. You got it, more than halfway there already. Now to be kind to our knees, we're not gonna do a super fast interval on this one. So just keep it nice and steady all the way to the bell. You got 15 seconds. And time. Nice, march it out. From here, we're gonna go back to that left leg in front. This time we're gonna do a front leg roundhouse. So we're gonna start off turned, do a low, put it down, a high, put it down, back fist, cross. So it's gonna be low, high, back fist, cross. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Low, high, back fist, cross. Back to start. Beautiful, you got it. Now your low and high could be ankle and knee, could be knee and ribs, could be ribs, and head, all depending on your range. Do whatever feels good for you. I like knee and ribs personally, because I feel like those are some of the most reachable targets that make sense for my body. Halfway there. Awesome Bon Jovi, we got this. Gonna be a killer on that hip flexor, that's okay. If it gets too much, you just slow it down or maybe even leave off one of the kicks and just do one. That's always good too. If you're still hanging in there, go for two. And it's time to speed it up, fast as you can. Keep breathing. And time, nice. Take a second, shake that leg out, and then we're going to the other side. All right, from here, we're gonna put that right leg in front, same combo, low, high, back fist, cross. So it's low, high, back fist, cross. Two minutes on the clock. This is your last combo, we got this, here we go. Low, high, back fist, cross. So you want your body to turn. So you're sideways for the low, the high, and the back fist. And then you're shifting for the cross to come straight out. Beautiful, yeah, there we go. You can feel a lot more power in it when you shift your body, puts all those muscles behind it. 
makes for a killer punch. Halfway there. One minute down, one minute to go. If you're starting to slow down towards the end of the class, that's okay too. All movement is good movement as long as it doesn't hurt. So as long as you can keep moving with no pain, just keep going, whatever the speed. All right, last high speed interval, you got this. Fast as you can. Almost there, you can do it. One more, and time. Nice. Ooh, that was a good one. March it out, take some deep breaths. And then we're gonna finish off with one minute of good mornings. So for this one, you wanna have a nice flat back, hands on your hip or on your head or on your hips, either way. Knees bent, leaning forward, just as far as you can, still keeping a flat back. One minute, here we go. Slow and steady. Keep your weight in your heels. You can lift your toes to help you do that. Keep your head, neck and back in a straight line. So as you bend forward, you're looking towards the floor. You should feel this one in the backs of your legs, your glutes, maybe your lower back. All right, if it feels okay for the last half, we're gonna add upper back too. So we're gonna reach up and out. Still the same bending motion, this time reaching out and looking forward. And time. All right, great job. Grab some water and then we'll come back for our final stretch. All right, bring it in. Bring your feet a little wider than hip width apart, maybe shoulder width, whatever's comfortable for you. Take a nice deep breath. Bring your hands up over your head, fold forward. Nice and slow, generous bend in your knees. Just let everything relax. Let gravity help stretch you out for a minute. From here, come up to that nice flat back and just let your arms swing in gentle circles, hanging loose in the shoulder joint. And then go the other way. And then bend your knees nice and big, roll up. And you're gonna roll your shoulders up and back three times. And then up and forward three times. From here, take one arm, bring it across your chest. And then maybe if it feels good, turn and look out over that hand. Just to add a little neck stretch as well. Bring your head back to center and release, and then go to the other side. Pulling that arm across till you feel a gentle stretch. And then turn, if it feels good, and look over that hand.
Bring your head back to center and release. From here, we're gonna step one foot forward, peel our toes up, and then lean forward until you feel a good stretch through the back of your leg. Pause here for a moment. Nice deep breath. And then as you exhale, try to sink just a little bit further. See if you can get a little more stretch, but don't push it till it hurts, only to the edge of the stretch. Plant that toe, come up nice and slowly. From here, widen your stance just a little bit and you're gonna push that back hip forward so that you feel a good stretch through the front of that hip flexor. Relax, and then one more on this side. Bring your foot back in, and if you need to find something to hold on to, this is a good one to, to have a hand on the wall or this chair next to you, whatever. Step your right foot behind your left, and then you're gonna lean over to stretch down the side body. Now, if you, this is uncomfortable or you're having trouble with the balance, you can do a side bend without putting the foot behind. This just gives you a little more stretch, especially through the hip. And release. Now we're gonna switch sides. So put that right foot in front. Peel the toes up, lean forward till you feel a good stretch and then pause for a moment. Take that nice deep breath. And as you exhale, sink just a little bit deeper. Come up nice and slow. Widen your stance just a little. Push that back hip forward. And then release. And then that last side bend, bring the foot behind you, make sure you have your balance. And it can be a little harder on one side than the other. And then reach up and over. stretching through your side body and the side of your hip. And release. Beautiful, you are all done. Fantastic job today. I will see you next Saturday.